for me, you know, I had a worry that I wouldn't make friends, right? I thought I'd get to school and that I wouldn't be able to develop any social skills, quite frankly. I was scared and I didn't want to leave my room. I graduated from a small high school. My graduating class was at least 96 to 98 of us. And it was primarily a Latino-based community. So later on, going to a university in Chicago that was very uh, huge was very overwhelming for me. It was like a culture shift because I, I was immersed with a group of students who were interested in different things than I was. And I never put myself in any positions to really talk to people who had different interests than myself. When I first started school, I struggled with social anxiety and making friends. So I knew that in order to make friends, I would have to join groups with like-minded people. So I joined a lot of first year or freshman different groups at my school. I was motivated to keep going by seeing that there were other students in the same boat as me, that they were just as scared as I was, and that I wasn't the outlier or the outcast or anything of that sort. And when I transitioned over to the School of the Art Institute, Chicago, I worked in the admissions office and wanted to learn how to communicate with different types of people, gauge their interests. Now my network is broadened, so I really appreciate that experience. I got involved in choir. I, I love singing and I felt that it was a way for me to have a home away from home. I met people um, who enjoyed the same thing as me and it just made everything on campus a little bit easier to know that there's other people that's just like you. I worked a lot on campus. I had a federal work study position, so I met a lot of people through that. And I also rushed a sorority in my first year, so I met a lot of women through that network, um, which was really, really a nice time. Later on, I decided to do a double major in Latin America and Latino studies. So in that field, it was dominantly Latinos. I feel more like at home. They had this energy that I'm used to back at home. I was really grateful to be a part of a first-gen network on my campus. Um, I made a ton of friends through that network. I still talk to a lot of them today, post-grad. Uh, and they were going through kind of the same thing I did. And they would say, hey, actually, I ran into that problem. This is how I solved it. So a really big thing for me is I'm an extrovert. I love being around other people. I recharge around other people. And so for me, isolating myself in my dorm room wasn't going to be the solution. It wasn't going to be how I got through this. And so I was very happy to find that network of support. I like found those friends in first gen and stuck with them. My RA always told me to keep our, my door open in my dorm room. Um, so more often than not, I'd meet the guys on my floor, for example, by just leaving my door open and people walking by. I met people a lot through my classes. You know, I found that studying together is often a really great opportunity. I did service, uh, service trips as well, which were really, really beneficial. And I think being with people who also like cared about the same things you do was important to me. If you are or will be a first-generation college student, consider joining the First Generation Scholars Network for events, resources, and a great network to support your transition to college. Visit studentportal.isac.org backslash firstgen.